Good morning. It's turned out nice again. Mother, how's it going, guys? You all right, yeah? Oh, I don't know what kind of a mood I'm in this morning. I know I want to swear, but you can't swear in the first 16 seconds of a YouTube video. They don't like it. 15, 16. Another day, another load of fucking bollocks. There you go. How you doing? You all right? This kid, we're going to talk about this kid, Ibrahim uh, Sangare. I think it's Sangare. You know what I'm like. I mean, listen, I've seen videos about him saying Sangare, Sangre, Sangare. I'm going to go with Ibrahim Sangare for now. All right. You know if it's not, you know, Jack Daniels or John Smith. I can't fucking pronounce it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we're going to be talking about him. Now, he was heavily linked to mention with us yesterday, maybe the day before, but I think it was mainly yesterday. Uh, and some people think this is a new link. Some people, you know, messaged me yesterday on Mastodon, which is a Twitter rival. You come and join us, liverpoolfootballclub.social. My username is at Dunk. Come along, at Cop Talk as well is on there. We've got loads of people on there now. So much so that the server collapsed at the weekend and I've had to invest more money in it uh, to make it happen, which I'm not too happy about. But it's very good and uh, we'd love to see you on there. Liverpoolfootballclub.social. Go and have a look. And there's different, you might not see, you need to click on the links down the right hand side, look for local or something like that. Anyway, um, <clears throat> some of you messaged me and, you know, there's been conversation on there uh, and all over the place, Cop Top members, website, etc. about this player, Sangare. And, you know, people saying, who the fuck's that? You know, well, we were linked with him last year, uh, in May last year, uh, 2022, <clears throat> in August 2022. And in November 2022, Liverpool, Liverpool scouts kept an eye on him last year, which is why we kept seeing these links come out. Um, but word is that they didn't follow up on it because they weren't sure uh, about him, to be honest with you. They thought it was a little bit clumsy, very powerful, very commanding. Uh, but there was just at the time, this was last year. I have no idea what people might think now because no one said anything. Uh, but last year it was along the, the lines of... Mm, his, He's all right, as promised there. Can he step up? He, you know, he needs to improve this, that and the other. Now, during that time in 2022, you know, there was the commentators, if you like, the people... When I'm talking about commentators, I'm talking about professionals in the football industry uh, that are on, you know, the mainstream media, not just some, you know, div like me sat in a fucking room or something. Or I don't know, these YouTube people get right on my tits. I'm not a YouTuber, right? This is just an extension of my website, Cop Talk. So... I don't want to be put in, in that category with them fucking idiots. Um, <clears throat> where was I before I started ranting? All right, so the professionals, uh, you know, when they were debating him as a player last year in 2022, were saying, were baffled by why none of the big, big guns have, have gone in for him. Now, at the moment, there are two or three big European clubs being linked with him, ourselves included. But this has come from his agent, all right, or part of his uh, people associated to the agent or working with the agent or related to the agent, basically. Uh, as, and as well as, I, mean, I was going to say, as well as the, there's major European clubs, Nottingham Forest have also uh, tried to sign him not so long ago. Uh, and in fairness to, to Notts Forest, they've got <laughs> more issue than, than some of the clubs in the Premier League. Anyway, um, so Forest have you know, tried to do something, but they wouldn't meet the, the asking price. Now, well, there's a, a clause in his contract that wouldn't meet that. Allegedly, reportedly, it's claimed that this, uh, there's a release clause of around £32 million in his contract. Now, to be honest with you, uh, he's at PSV, right? So... You know, he's, he's playing for a decent side and he's, he plays for the Ivory Coast as well, I believe. 30 plus caps or something like that, maybe since 2017, I can't remember. Um, he's all right, he's all right. I mean, he, but the thing is, you know, when you watch these reels, these highlight, highlight reels on YouTube, they can make someone uh, look very good. But you know what? We're missing exactly what he can offer at the moment. Uh, and I, I, do you know what, guys? I would take it. I would at 32 million, I'd take it. Now... Like I said, some of you guys uh, may not have heard of him before. I'll be honest with you, you know, I heard his name mentioned yesterday and I was like, who the fuck? Are you? you know what I mean? But you know I'm like that anyway with my, my memory. Um, but it was discussed uh, on the on the Cop Talk VIP members website 
uh, on this thread, if you're on the members website, um, in the uh, scouting department, transfers and next season's squad, who knows, uh, was a, a conversation that was underway. Uh, and this goes back to uh, May, uh, May last year. Uh, when Sangari was discussed, obviously we were aware at the time that he was he was being scouted by Liverpool, uh, and there is conversation with that uh, ongoing. Uh, sorry, that was conversation from May last year, where where the members were talking about the VIP members, and again there is you know new um, feedback and opinion about this, and one of the members there is saying I've literally been saying we should sign him since May twenty twenty two. And then he said, not good enough for us, apparently, even though we barely have a midfield, but good enough for PSG. Honestly, I give up. You know, the frustration uh, is spilling over there, you know. Um, what else can I tell you about this kid? He picked up one Eredivisie uh, individual award, I think, in 2021, the same month that his team picked up a, a collective award. Uh, he's won, some, he's won some, some trophies, minor things, or what, you know, what, you know the... Not the Champions League or anything like that. Um, there's, I'm not. I'm not really sure. I can give you much more about him, to be honest, at the moment. Uh, other than, I, I genuinely believe that he is under consideration. But I imagine every fucking number six in the world is right now because uh, of the absolute mess that we've got ourselves into. Is he a Mascherano? No, he's not. Is he a Fabino? No, he's not. I think he's 25. Is he going to get much better? He can do a job, that is for sure. Um, and I, I hate, you know, I, I hate coming across slightly negative. Do, do you know what? It isn't because of him that I'm being negative, if I sound negative. Like, if you, you know, please, first of all, don't go by my opinion with, with whether he's a good player or not. We've all got different opinions. Uh, and, you know, some of the, the most professional, most experienced managers and Football pundits and former players comment sometimes going, he'll do no good and they've become brilliant and vice versa and stuff like that. So don't go by that. The only reason there's a slight tone of negativity to this video, I guess, <clears throat> is not because, oh yeah, he, you know, like he's shit, he can't do it, you know, he can't do anything, blah, blah, blah. It's because the, the, of the general mood at the moment. We know that if we sign this lad, that he was never a first, uh, you know, a primary target. He was never a primary target. He's a fallback option, right? I, I struggle to, to remember fallback options that have come in at Liverpool uh, and have, you know, gone on and, you know, really, really impressed. And that's, that doesn't say it can't happen. And it doesn't mean he's a bad player. Please don't think that's what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is, you know, with Liverpool Football Club, you know, how has this even been allowed to happen to us? They let Fabinho go. We can all go on about, yeah, but the Saudi are throwing money around and all that. Well, the money that they, they, they put in... This, it should have been, a, categorically, it should have been, right, we're not going to stand in your way if you want to go, Fab, but we have to get someone in first. And it's just, it just seems like complete mismanagement, really, really poor handling uh, of everything at the moment. Now, I'm sure something will change. I'm sure something will change. I, I say I'm sure something will change, but that's just because of common sense. Like, it has to, you know, but I genuinely don't know what's going to happen at the moment. Uh, it, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Now, with regards to Fabino as well, it should be said that uh, this isn't a video about Fabino, but if you go on to the executive lounge on the members' website and then click on the inbox, which is a selection of messages and comments received by Dung. I receive emails and stuff all the time, and I like to share them in here. And there was one posted about Fabino, right, which is here, which I posted... Uh, in July, uh, and this is to do with rumours that were circulating in Liverpool. Um, I'm not going to read them out on here, and it's not really footballing rumours, it's more to do with more personal things and stuff like that. Um, and the suggestion in that email, I forgot all about this, uh, you know, because we were obviously surprised when Fabino left, but the suggestion was in here uh, that this theory. It was explaining the possible loss of form last season and the willingness of all parties to up sticks uh, and be off like a fart in the wind to the land of black gold. 
So if you know if you if you are a VIP member, you might want to have a look at that because it'll remind you know like we, we were all a bit surprised, weren't we, that Fabino was sold. And then I stumbled on that again the other day. I think someone might have replied to it that, that made it come up again. And I was like, oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. So for those of you that don't know, there was rumors about him saying that maybe, you know, he'll have to leave kind of thing. And I think Jermaine Pennant, which ironically we're mentioning Jermaine Pennant, he was a fallback option when we signed him. He was the third option, if I remember rightly. Um, I think if you were to put in Google News or Google or whatever, Jermaine Pennant, Fabino. I think he came out with some claims about Fabino recently, uh, saying that he was he hadn't been very professional or he was causing problems at the club, blah, 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 which is kind of ironic coming from Jermaine Pennant. You know what I mean? So I won't pay too much attention to that. But the reason I mentioned Fabino is because many of us were shocked at, that he was allowed to leave. Um, but before any of that was, you know, before any, it looked like it would happen, there was these rumours that were going around. If you're in Liverpool, the city, maybe you've heard all that anyway, I don't know. Not really interested, to be honest. I just think he shouldn't have been, you know, allowed to leave uh, until you had a replacement. So the whole the whole situation is a bit of a joke at the moment. Um, and that's it. This kid here, I mean... 32 million release clause, just fucking, you know, just, just trigger it. Um, that's what I'd like to uh, like to see happen, I guess, right now. But, you know, there's other options and we'll have to see, that's it. So um, I don't know if this is, a, you know, this video is of any interest to you really, guys. What was the reason for the video? I always like to say, why did I make the video? The reason for the video was to explain to you that Liverpool scouts did uh, watch him multiple times in the year 2022, all right? and maybe prior before then that we don't know about. So why am I telling you that? Well, because some people think it's a new link and maybe Liverpool are just desperate, which they are. Um, but the club have previously looked at this player. So they must have seen something or been alerted to something that maybe interested them, but they didn't step up. They didn't step up and follow that. So a decision must have been made that we can do better at that time. Now, from that point, to today, has he become a better player? I can't answer that question because I've not followed his career. Maybe you can, I don't know. So, you know, it makes you think maybe there's been a conversation like, fuck, what we're going to do now? And then someone goes, do you remember that? Do you remember him? We, we checked him out. Should we have a look at him, see what he's doing? You know, it's a bit like that, isn't it? 32 million, uh, I don't know, but then it reeks of desperation if I'm saying just pay the 32 million and bring him in. So anyway, the reason for the video is to tell you that this player has been scouted before by Liverpool in, uh, and, and there was reports linking him to us uh, in May 2022, August 2022 and November 2022 with a suggestion that Liverpool could bid for him in January 2023. But I don't think there was any uh, mentions of that uh, around that transfer window. Since then, nothing until they start again. I hope that makes sense. Uh, if the video is a little bit negative and a bit like you're giving him an hard time. It's not because of that player. It's just the current mood. And I know that if we were to sign him, you know, he's, he's um, a fallback option. I would be fully behind the lad. Um, I get the, I will end by saying this. I get the impression, and it's only a personal feeling. No one said this to me. I get the impression that they would still be looking at someone else above him at this present time. Who the fuck that could be, I don't know. I see the same names as you uh, linked. But I just feel that just from common sense and intuition that they've said, right, we know we could tr bring that lad in. Is there anything else we can do? A bit like Ravenberg, right? Because they know that they could bring him in or they, they felt like that at one time, but they left him to the side to see if they could focus on other positions. If that doesn't work out, you go back to your fallback option He's one of them. I think Ravenberg is as well. So uh, I expect, what, I mean, what day are we on now? I don't even know. I think it's Tuesday today, isn't it? Uh, the good thing about it being Tuesday today is I think my best friend Smooth, as you know, is, uh, is off work today. So that means I can uh, kick back a little bit, really. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll be streaming on my other YouTube channel later today, youtube.com forward slash Duncan Old, and we'll be doing some Call of Duty DMZ because I need to take a little... Uh, step back because it's, it's dragging me down guys I'll be honest with you it's really annoying me 
But what I was going to say, apart from it being my friend's day off today, was, you know, something has to... I, I think we're going to see a sudden splurge of, of news concerning us because, you know, we know that... Or we believe, if you follow my content, that John Henry had expressed his displeasure and concern about the way things were happening a couple of weeks ago. We're told that last Monday he hit the roof in a video call. He then turns up in England. Uh, you know, I think all that's related. Uh, and I imagine that he's saying, what the fuck, do you know what I mean? Whether you like John Henry or not, it's irrelevant. It's his asset, it's his club. Uh, you know, he's got every right to, to voice his concerns. Um, so I expect there will be, you know, meetings and uh, and whatnot and get it fucking done kind of message, you know. So uh, I, I do I do expect that we will see a, a massive surge of, of stuff at the moment. Oh, imminently, imminently. Uh, very confused with the with the Casado and the Lavia, you know, the, the the money that was involved in them, the Lavia one, it was like we were bid against bidding having a bidding war with ourselves for him, you know. We, we, we were offering him 35, 40, 45, we're not paying 50. And then all of a sudden I tell you what, we'll give it 60. Uh whether it's fair to criticize Boy George or not, the new sporting director, I don't know as yet. Um but the place this the, just the whole thing, they're gonna blame it on all oh, you know, we we the money that came, you know, the interest from Saudi Arabia, you know, they didn't have to uh, let Henderson or um, Fabinho go. They chose to, and that's fine. But, you know, I've never known of, you know, a club, especially ours, not line up, you know, replacements initially in the first place. And what's going to happen now is, you know, other clubs, they know that we've got this money and we're willing to pay this for him and that for him. And the longer you leave it, the more... Desperate other clubs know you are. So when it comes down to that negotiating period, you can go, nah, you're going to pay what we want, you know? So uh, George is either going to come out of this uh, this summer transfer window as a hero uh, or he's going to come out looking an absolute idiot. Um, I, I, my hunch, my hunch, with absolutely nothing to back this up whatsoever, I think... Uh, John Henry is not happy with uh, with the Sporting Directors' progress this summer. Maybe that's unfair to say that, but if you listen to some of the more credible rumours about people that have stepped in to try and make deals happen at the club, uh, taking away a bit of responsibility from him, it just sounds like a complete fucking mess, right? It just sounds like a complete mess. But, but, anything can happen. So, I would like you to tell me in the comment section. I read every single comment on here, all right? I love your comments. It, maybe you don't understand, but when I'm pottering about, wherever I'm doing, wherever I am, wherever I'm, uh, where it doesn't matter, whatever I'm doing, uh, I, always, uh, I always have a look at the phone to see what you guys are saying. And I would like you to comment and tell me what you know about this lad and if you would like to see him sign. Uh, are you along the opinion of me, like 32 minutes, just get him in for fuck's sake, at least he can do summer, even if he only plays a couple of times. You know, there were talk of, when it, a year ago when he was linked with Liverpool, they were saying he'd be a good player to come into the squad, as Rafa would say, at Liverpool. So you can't go wrong, you know, having numbers and stuff like that. It just depends on the, the money it takes to make it happen. Let me know what you think about this kid. Should Liverpool trigger his release clause? If not, who are you going for now in that, that number six, you know what I mean? Um, the video is probably negative sounding, and I think I have every right to be negative and a bit deflated like you guys. We know that the mood can change like that. Now, when we went in for Casado with the 110 million, I was like, what the fuck? This came from nowhere, right? So this can happen again. And the mood changes. Because I remember around then, it just the mood just lifted, and I was like, for that, do you know what I mean? And then look what's happened. So it's up and down, up and fucking down. I genuinely cannot wait for the transfer windows to close. I, I, I cannot wait, and I say that every year anyway, but this year has been the most fucking bizarre one ever, and I am so concerned about that squad at the moment. So on that basis of absolute panic, trigger his release clause for 32 million, bring him in. Go and have a look at his videos on YouTube, but remember, they can be made to look any anyone look good. And I don't know if I've said this once before in the video, 
when Liverpool scouts watched him, the feedback was, uh, you know, they, they were convinced that he could, he was ready to step up at that point. Maybe that's changed now. Uh, playing for PSV, you know, he's, he's a good side, right? And um, they thought he was just a little bit, a little bit clumsy, but. You know, he's tall, he's commanding, uh, he can clean up, and that's what Liverpool need at the moment. So uh, please don't go, you know, write this kid off based on the mood of this video, which is more of a general, oh, God, I'm fed up sort of thing, do you know what I mean? Because this kid could come in and be fucking brilliant. Let me know what you think, guys. All right, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs, a thumbs up, or whatever it is, a like. Uh, please leave a comment. Um, I would really appreciate uh, your feedback and that. And if you really like the video, you can uh, hit the Love Art button. And all the information is in the video description as to how you can support the channel uh, and where you can connect with me. And I would love it if you would come across to Mastodon. Uh, you don't have to give up Twitter. Uh, we know I'm still monitoring Twitter things behind me here uh, on that screen. Um, but on the uh, on the other screen, it's, where it's covered at the moment, but uh, we do have uh, Mastodon, which is liverpoolfootballclub.social. Uh, it's free to join. There's no advertising or anything like that. And that's it, guys. All right. Uh, I, I'm i sure I have something else I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, it'll probably come to me in a minute. All right, guys. Thanks very much.